here in sunny California driving the 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. And if you think Eclipse sounds familiar, that's because it does. Previously, the Mitsubishi had the Eclipse Coupe, which was a sporty, fun to drive car. And so the thought being that bringing this crossover to market, they wanted to make it both sporty and fun. The Eclipse Cross is equipped with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that delivers 152 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. The Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross will come in four different trims. It'll have the base ES, then it will go to the LE, the SE, and then you'll have the top level SEL touring trim. Base price at the ES level for the two wheel drive model is gonna be just more than $24,000 at $24,290. To add all-wheel drive, you're gonna only up that price by about $600, which is a really excellent value. The top tier SEL Touring trim is going to have a price of $31,390. One of the really cool things about the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is that it has a lot of neat technology. You're looking at Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Lane Keep Assist, Blind Spot Monitoring, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, and Autonomous Emergency Braking. However, if you're looking for navigation, don't expect to find it on this vehicle. Mitsubishi has said that because they have added in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto at the LE trim, they don't think that they need navigation. Initial impressions of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross are mostly favorable. I really like the exterior styling. I think they've done a great job with everything from the grille all the way to the taillights and the curved end. I like the interior fit and finish. I think they've done a really good job with the implementation of materials and overall design. The one thing I wish is that I didn't have to depend on Apple CarPlay for directions. So I just wish they would add a navigation. Another little nit I have to pick is they have some carbon fiber etching. Not actually carbon fiber, it's plastic made to look like carbon fiber. To me, it just looks a little bit cheap, but overall, really high-end materials, really stylish looking vehicle, and I have a feeling this is gonna be a car that helps Mitsubishi gain its foothold again in America.